information systems in context, data and information. Now, in this next video, we're actually going to have a look at the relationship between data and information. And if we look at the information system here on the left, we can see the data and information down the bottom interacting with the information processes. So let's try to understand what these different terms mean and essentially what their relationship is. Firstly, we have data, which includes text, values, and raw facts, which are entered into an information system for processing. So essentially, it's what the user puts into the system. Okay, it is their data and they obviously want it to be processed by the system. And then why do they want it to be processed by the system? Well, essentially it's so they can get information back from the system. So information is data after it's been processed by an information system, making it more meaningful to the users of the system. So we enter data into a system and what we want back from the system is information. Okay, essentially data that has been made more meaningful in some way, which essentially is the purpose of the information system. So, in the example of a calculator, the numbers entered by a user would be considered data. The user would then select from the available calculation, addition, multiplication, etc., which are the available processes okay, of that actual information system. Okay? After the user presses equals at the end of that calculation, they are given a total. And that total is classified as information. The data, the numbers have been processed and then they are given the information, the actual total. So let's look at the most simplest type of calculation possible here. The data I'll enter is one plus one. Now, individually, those characters mean nothing. Okay, they are all just symbols. Okay, but when I enter it into a calculator information system, we're talking the value one, the symbol plus, which means added two, and then another one. Now, you can probably guess what the information is going to be. Okay, the information that would come out of our calculator information system is 2. Okay, so that is that calculation on the left, 1 plus 1. Okay, its uh, calculation, its information is 2. Okay, now, this doesn't just relate to numbers either. Okay, let's look at it in the, uh, in the area of characters. Okay, if I'm using a word processor and I enter in the characters H, E, L, L, and O. Okay, now we can read, once those characters are all put together, they create the word hello. Okay, now hello in a word processor appears as a word. Okay, someone can read that word when it's entered into it uh, next to each other. Hello is a greeting, so it means I'm writing a greeting in my word process document. So that when those characters are strung from me pressing them on the keyboard and they appear on screen together, it's giving a greeting message. Those characters now have more meaning through being a word together. So... Just to elaborate a bit more on the relationship between data and information, this bit's slightly more confusing. Data may include information from a different system or calculation. It is considered data once again when it is entered into the system for further processing. So in the case of my uh, calculation there before, the one plus one equals two, I then could use that two for a further calculation, making that two data once again. In the case of the characters on my screen, when I created the word hello, when I type more words after it, there are, it is data once again, and it's becoming more meaningful once again. Okay, so essentially, when we further process something, it is data once again, but we are further processing it, and we're looking in for even deeper meaning, okay, through this further processing. Now, this is all very basic, the examples I've given, but we're talking about information systems that predict weather, the lay to pay bills online, that sort out your banking, that provide entertainment to people, okay, there is a lot of data going on there, okay, and it is uh, obviously being processed the information, and then that information gets processed by a different system, and then that information gets processed by another system. So sys information systems work in conjunction with other systems as well, but that's obviously a much larger scale that we're not going to go into right now. Let's just keep it simple for this video. And so I hope it's helped illustrate the, the actual uh, relationship between data and information.